Hi, my name is Fraser and welcome to Graphics Card Repairs. So today we have this MSI Gaming X3O RTX 3080 10GB and the user says that this card is not getting detected. So uh, this card is used with a water block and uh, that's why you don't see any cooler with this card and this is how I received the card. So let's start with the resistance and check if we have any shots. So let's start off with the 8 pin and let's take a look at the first pin and we have, let's, let me move this over. Okay, let's check now and we don't have any shots here. Let's check the second 8 pin and we don't have any shots. Let's check the 5 volts. And again, we don't have any shots here. 1.8. We don't have any shots and pecs. We don't have any shots. Okay, let's also check uh, the memory. And it's about 59 ohms, which is good enough. So all our resistances look to be okay. Let's take a look at the back and check if our pecs reset and our reference clock plus and minus is okay. So checking PEX reset first, it's fine. Reference clock plus and minus, okay. So everything looks to be good today. So the resistances are fine. Uh, you know, probably there's something else. Let's take a look under the microscope and see if we can find anything over here. So everything looks to be okay. I don't see anything burnt. So uh, with the naked eye, obviously, there's nothing that you can see. But uh, let's take a look under the microscope. Definitely, we may find something. Let's take a look carefully. This area looks a little bit weird, but uh, let's come back to it later. So it's important that, uh, you know, you check uh, the card under the microscope before you connect any voltages. So let's take a look at the back. All looks good here. Nothing obvious that I can see. Everything looks to be nice and clean. No burn marks, no holes, no nothing. It all looks good to me. Okay, so everything looks fine here. I don't see anything wrong that uh, is obvious. So let's connect the voltage. Uh, let me connect my power supply and uh, put, you know, inject some voltage. And uh, let's see if we have all the voltages. So I have connected my power supply now. Uh, let's start measuring the voltages. So let's start off with uh, checking the 12 volts. And But first, let's see how much power it draws. And we have about 2.57 amps. So that means our core is getting powered on. So let's start with the 12 volts. And we have 12 volts here. Let's check the second 8 pin. And we have voltage there as well. Let's check the 5 volts. We have 5 volts, 1.8. We have 1.8 as well. Let's take a look at pegs. Okay, we don't have pegs. Uh, let's take a look at core. We have the core voltage and memory. We have memory as well. So all the voltages are present except for pecs. So we'll, let's take a look under the microscope as to what exactly is missing. So this is where the 12 volts com comes in to this buck regulator. And uh, we don't have 12 volts, but uh, we do have 5. So we are missing 12 volts. So since we are missing 12 volts, so this chip is not getting powered on. And that 12 volts come in, comes in from this resistor here. Let's take a look at this side of the resistor. Now let me move the microscope a bit, reposition it. Okay, let's take a look at it again. And we have 12 volts on this side. Let's take a look on this side. 
and we have nothing. So, uh, our resistor is blown and uh, if our resistor is blown, let us take a look, measure the resistance. Yes, it looks like an open line to me. So, our resistor is blown. So, definitely the chip connected to this resistor is also blown. Okay. Let us check the resistance again. Yeah, and we have uh, the resistance. So, it looks like it is connecting to ground on the other side. So, you can see the capacitors charging. So, that means it is connected to ground. So, if I connect the probe, I get the same kind of reading. And on the other side, so you can see that we have a short to ground. So, it is about 5 ohms and that means that our buck regulator, uh, that is the PEX uh, buck regulator is uh, shorted to ground. And our resistor, we will have to replace. Okay, so uh, let us proceed. This is the buck regulator that we may have to replace. So, let us go ahead and prepare this card to go ahead and replace it. So, we will also have to replace this resistor and this buck regulator here. So, let us start with it. Okay, so I have gone ahead and removed uh, the buck regulator. Let us test if our short is gone. Let us uh, measure the resistance again. And yes, it shows an open line. So, it means that our short is gone. Yeah, there you go. So, let us go ahead and uh, replace it with a new one.
Okay, so that chip has been replaced. Let's check the resistance again. Let's make sure that we, we don't have a short. And you can see we don't have a short. Okay, so I have also gone ahead and replaced, uh, removed that resistor and I'm going to replace it with this one. So this is the smallest size I have handy. You can see it's slightly oversized. So I will have to find a way to fit this on this uh, pad. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so the resistor has been replaced. Uh, let's take some resistance again. Let's measure the resistance. Let's check first to ground and see if we have, we still have a short. And we don't. Let's check this side. Everything looks good to me. Okay, so we will also check if this connects to our inductor so let me switch over so you, you know you can have a better view okay that looks better so let's check if it connects to our 8 pin so it should uh, be a direct shot kind of a thing so it should be zero ohms yes it's directly connected so let's also measure from here right up till the chip maybe i'm not making a proper contact here let's check again yes okay so our resistor is fitted properly and it's making good contact and uh, let's continue so uh let's measure the voltage again and let's see if we now have our pex voltage let's test it yes we do so our card is now working uh, all the voltages are present so let's go ahead and put this card on the bench and let's check uh, if everything is working now if this card is detected let's go ahead and do that okay so the card is on the bench so let's put this thing up let's check if uh, it's detected and if we have picture okay and we have an image let's uh, boot into windows and uh, let's go ahead and check if everything is working normal so i'm just going to add another fan just for extra cooling so we are in windows now uh, let me first check if our device manager is showing the drivers being installed or i'll just wait for the drivers to get installed so once we, we have the drivers installed, our repair is complete. There you go, our drivers are installed. So I wouldn't be able to stress test this card because I don't have the cooler. This, this card has been used on a water block on the customer's com uh, computer. So our drivers are working properly and uh, that's all we wanted to see here. So I'm just going to run a small render using the GPU-C, the, the render test that comes along with the uh, with GPU-C, just to make sure that, okay, if everything is working properly. So uh, I hope you like this repair. Uh, if you do like it, please hit the like button. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section. I do make sure that I respond to all comments uh, that are left in the on this video. So if you do like the content that I'm producing and uh, if you like it, uh, you can also consider joining by hitting the join button or use the thanks button to support this channel. That will help me to, uh, you know, invest in new research and development projects. So thank you for watching. You have a good day. Bye for now. Cheers.